We use desktop computers in our homes and in our workplaces to complete certain work-related tasks and to entertain ourselves at home. The computers we use in our workplaces are usually set up by the IT technician ready to use. When we are at home, many do struggle to set up their own desktop computer, leaving them with no choice than to call an IT technician to do it for them at a fee. Knowing how to set up a desktop computer for you is as important as learning how to tie the lace of your shoe. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up a desktop computer for you. You no longer need to pay a technician to set it up for you. With knowledge comes great enlightenment. And this is what we do in this channel. We educate you on topics of this kind. From basic to advanced tech and coding related topics. Like and subscribe to enjoy more of this. Now, let's begin. Desktop computers come in two different parts. Some do come as built-in desktop computers. And what I mean built-in is that the system unit is built into the monitor, making the monitor perform the role of the system unit and the role of the monitor. On the other hand, many desktop computers do come in with the monitor and the system unit being separated. Meaning you have the system unit being separated from the monitor. All these two types have different ways of setting them up for you. And the good news is that this video covers how to set up any of the two types of computers for you. Let's start with the setup of a desktop computer that comes with the monitor and the system unit being separated from each other. The requirements. You need the following requirements to set up your own desktop computer at home. And you can do that even at your workplace. First of all, you need the monitor, the system unit, the mouse, the keyboard, the speakers, which is optional, search protector, very, very important, the monitor key. There are four different kinds of monitor cables, depending on which one your computer comes from. We have the following monitor cable support. If your computer is newly made, there is higher chance that it will come with an HDMI cable and port. If it is an old desktop computer, it will either come with any of the following three cables and ports. The VGA cable, the DVI cable, and the display cable. You should have any of the four cables I have.
have mentioned. In order to follow this tutorial, now let's start with the steps of setting up the desktop of computer. Step one. Connect the monitor cable you have to the monitor port. If your monitor is using HDMI port, then you need to connect an HDMI cable to it. If it is using VGA port, then your cable should be a VGA cable. If it is using DVI, then your cable should be DVI cable. If it is a display port, then your cable should be a display cable. Step 2. Connect the other end of your monitor cable to your system unit. Step 3. Connect the system unit power cable to the power pack of the system unit. Step 4. Connect the other end of the power cable of the system unit to the surge protector. Note, it is always advisable to connect the power cable to a surge protector rather than connecting it directly to the socket. Again, don't connect the surge protector to a source of power yet. You should be careful. Step 5. Connect the power cable of the monitor to the monitor. Step 6. Connect the other end of the power cable of the monitor to the surge protector. Step 7. Connect the keyboard to the exact port on the system unit. Step 8. Connect your mouse to the system unit. Your mouse is a USB mouse. Connect it to the USB port of the system unit. If your mouse is using a mouse connector, connect it to the mouse port. Step 10. Connect your surge protector to the socket. If you have made this stage, great, you are done setting up your desktop computer for you. Anytime you want to use your computer, you just have to on your socket, on the search connector, and then press the power button on your system. And then your computer will start booting. If you cannot see anything on your monitor, press the power button of your monitor to on the monitor. Now let's move to setting up the virtual desktop computer. Setting up a built-in desktop computer is quite simple. Since the system unit is already housed into the monitor, you no longer need a display cable or monitor cable unless you want to have a two monitor setup. All the ports for the system unit will be found on the monitor. What you need to do here you just have to connect your keyboard and mouse to the monitor. Connect your speakers, connect the power cable to the monitor 
connect the other end of the power cable to the side protector. After doing this, the rest of the procedure is same as the above when you reach this stage. This is a bonus tip. Why do we always say you should connect it to a side protector and not to connect your power cables to the socket directly? Using the side protector will protect your computer from electrical damage in case there is higher current. The side protector will protect your electrical device. That is why we recommend you to connect it to a side protector. Another thing to note of is that devices like printers, scanners, USB drives, like modems, flash drives, are all connected after your computer is booted. If your mouse is wireless mouse, then you have to wait for your computer to play booting before you pair your device or mouse to your computer. This is how to set up a desktop computer safely. Congrats, enjoy your new PC. If you like this video and want to see more of this, please subscribe. Leave your comment below on what you think about this topic. Hope to see you in the next video.